Today we're going to show you how to change the dispenser micro switch on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a small flat blade screwdriver and a putty knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, because we will be working around some electrical circuits, we will need to disconnect the power. So simply pull the plug. Next we'll remove the drip tray from the bottom of the dispenser. And then we'll take a putty knife and shoot wrap that with some duct tape just to protect the finish. And we're going to go in underneath the edge of that escutcheon and at the same time we're going to pull down on it and out. It's actually hooked in a couple spots on the bottom and there's three tabs across the top. So it needs to come off in the bottom first. And just lift up on it, tilt it out. We'll next need to disconnect the five pin plug that feeds the switches. And we can set that aside. We now have access to the micro switches inside, and they're held in place with a couple of plastic tabs, a little hook on the end of them. So we'll pull that hook free of the switch, and then we'll just wiggle that over. Once you get it free of the two posts that it mounts on, you can pull it out. And then with our flat blade, we'll take and we'll pry that wire connector off of it. And we can discard the old switch. So we'll take our new switch, and we'll slide that wire connector to it. Make sure it fits on nice and tight. And we're going to rotate that back into position. And we'll line up the two diagonal holes on the switch with the two plastic posts. And push it all the way over until the locking tabs engage. Make sure the wires are tucked up out of the way. Now we can reconnect the harness connector to the touchpad switches on the front. And make sure the locking tab engages on that. And we'll slide that in underneath the handle, and lift it up just above the frame of that dispenser housing. Make sure it locks down into place. And then while pushing down on the bottom, give that a little tap. That'll hold that in place. Reinstall the drip tray, reconnect the power, and our repair is complete.